The guy uses an art whose definitions go beyond the simple translation of the kanji that form its name, and it's also surely much more than the usual translation as the art of drawing the sword. The word Yaijutsu has three kanji. E that means to be, I that would be to fit, and in the end jutsu that means method or art. However, it's acceptable the meaning towards being fitted to the enemy. This meaning comes together with the condition of having the sheathed sword, and then as a very strong characteristic of Yaijutsu, fulfilling four protocols. Noki or drawing the sword. Kiri or cutting, chiburi that means to swing the blood away from the sword, and noto or return the sword to the scabbard or saya. Historically, serious researchers state that the most accepted theory tracing back the origins of Yaijutsu is that Tiza Sacho Isai, the founder of Tenshin Shoden Katori Shinto Ryu, created the Yaijutsu. This style is extremely respected and considered one of the oldest of the traditional schools. It is also a very accepted theory that Hayashizaki Jinsuke redesigned and created the Bato Jutsu in the 5th century. Some schools distinguish Yai Jutsu from Bato Jutsu, some do not. Although each school has its own curriculum, if we consider those historical theories as consistent, we will know that there are nearly a hundred years between the creation of Yai Jutsu and the later Bato Jutsu. So, this could be the very first answer to the so common question what's the difference between Yai Jutsu and Bato Jutsu? The period that each one was developed. As a comparison, and to the point that it's valid, imagine what was medicine a hundred years ago. If we think in such a period, the first consequences is all the subsequent changes in contest, necessity, scenario, and so on. In our school, Yaijutsu and Bato Jutsu are, diff are studied as different subjects. Although uh, they have many similarities, the thoughts behind each one remain different. As usual in Bujutsu and Kumujutsu, there are many styles of Yaijutsu, uh, and all the information presented here are related to our school. Yaijutsu is an art with which to kill an enemy. It is not seen as an art created to be used in a battlefield if we think that it would be much more probable the usage of Kinjutsu in this situation if this word was abused. Now, even though the abilities surrounding Yaijutsu could be quite useful wherever a samurai was. Yaijutsu is studied under the circumstances of being either outdoors or indoors and whether standing up or sitting down and the moving in crouching postures. For practicing Yaijutsu, the correct usage of the Hara is a matter of extreme importance since beginning or sustaining the movement or postures with the wrong origins may be a significant issue leading to failure. Speed is also required if we are thinking in Yaijutsu in effectiveness as empirically as possible in a practice that composes a system of, of combat. Side by side with the speed, although, is the ability to locate oneself in the continuum of time and use for you the understanding that Tori and Duque share the same time. For swordsmen to draw his sword and cut precisely and uh, with the necessary power, the movements should flow properly. The lots of the key along the body and may divide the practitioner's power and uh, no flux would reach the sword and neither one could feel the sword as an extension of his body, truly an extension of his arms. Today, we will study a Seite Gata of our school. Seite Gata, pre-arranged forms that came along in the history of a school uh, and tries to remount not the idea of strategy but uh, of the practice as form uh, propitiates a technical improvement. Uh, the search for the perfect draw, uh, the perfect cut, and the awareness even when the combat is over. The main basic kata, as one will see later on, uh, very often are constituted of very simple elements aiming the condition to move readily and correctly.